guys, thank you so much for joining me in another video. So as you can tell based on the title, we are talking today about Phoebe Philo in 2023. Who knows? I wanted to make this video because I just saw a posting and it's a little bit more concrete than just pure speculation. If you're not familiar, Phoebe Philo, she did leave Celine 2018. She's done this in the past where she's left a brand, like she left Chloe. She wanted to take like an extended maternity leave and honestly good for her. But now we've been like waiting, we've been waiting for her to come back. And in 2021, she had announced that she was going to come out with her own line and it would be under her name. However, LVMH would have like a minority stakehold in the brand. That was what was announced in 2021. We were hoping, lots of people were talking about it, this season, the season Phoebe Fowl is gonna come out with a collection in 2022. We did not get anything. It's been like, okay, like what's going on? Is Phoebe Fowl gonna go to another brand? what's going on. And then I was on the purse forum. So if you're not familiar with the purse forum, it's this community where handbag lovers share information about their bags, information about the quality, the craftsmanship, their experience with these bags, their collections. It's just like a whole community devoted to handbags. And there was actually a thread on the Phoebe Philo line. Someone posted this. And so I'm just gonna like pull up the post here. This is all public information. So you post in this public forum. So this person had found that there was actually a job listing on the business of fashion. So I just checked the website, the business of fashion. This is for the role, head of private client relations, employer, Phoebe Philo, location, London, closing date, January 15, 2023. Function, sales and business development level, director, contract type, permanent hours full time. And then it goes on to describe the role here. So let's just look at this. Heading up the private client function for Phoebe Fallow, the role is responsible for leading and developing the private client experience and function, developing and implementing a specific bespoke approach in line with the Phoebe Fallow house image and culture. Prior to application, we ask interested candidates to review the skills and experience. Okay, I think this is like actually a little bit more concrete here. Like it's not just speculation. It's not, oh, is Phoebe Fallow doing this? Is she doing that? This is a little bit more concrete. And like the business of fashion is like an established website. They do post professional like jobs in the realm of fashion. So if you're looking for a job, um, take a look at this one. I think this is like a good sign. Obviously this to me isn't like a role to like start the beginnings of a brand, right? This isn't designer of accessories or anything. This is like a sales and business development role. This is someone that is going to market the product to like their more top tier clients. Like this is just total speculation. But to me, it sounds like they have stuff they're ready to sell. What do you guys think? One of the skills and experience required is specialist knowledge of luxury product, preferably in the women's wear and leather goods arena. I think we're gonna see some handbags. I think we're gonna see some shoes. I think we're gonna see some amazing clothing, obviously. I made a wish list. A part of me like was kind of holding back because I just feel like every wish list, I'm always like, oh man, like is this the year Phoebe Philo comes out? Fingers crossed. I'm, I'm hoping that we see something this year. Super curious to know if we're gonna see anything the spring summer is that too soon are we gonna see anything this fall winter what do you guys think i think the time is ripe for her to be back honestly it does feel like her absence is missed it does feel like there is something missing like it doesn't feel like any brand has been able to really capture the same spirit of phoebe philo like this modern woman today in sort of a intuitive sense i feel like phoebe philo has this intuition about what the modern woman is when you just even look at some of her collections even at chloe to to now like i was just looking at some of her collections where she had these like baby doll dresses and it just made me think about like all the baby doll dresses that were popular in like, the mid 2000s and yeah it just made me think about brands like nicholas gasket balenciaga and anyways i feel like in fashion we're ready for a total different vibe shift this is just me i totally think this whole balenciaga disaster people have realized hoodies with logos t-shirts with logos crappy clothing that is just not high quality with just like logos on it again there's nothing wrong with a logo okay like obviously i can appreciate a logo the t-shirt is like no different than a hanes t-shirt 
shirt or t-shirt you buy at Walmart. What are we actually buying as consumers? Anyways, this is like a, a rant for another video. I do feel like there is a potential vibe shift. I feel like we are seeing a lot of creative director changes. Who knows what's gonna happen at Gucci? What direction Gucci is gonna go in? Daniel Lee is going to Burberry. What's going on with like Louis Vuitton menswear? I know that like Ferragamo has had like a new creative director. I think fashion is just gonna be going in this like different vibe shift. Things have been very heavy on like the utility, like sportswear aesthetic, streetwear vibes, sportswear vibes, logos, collaborations. But that's like so opposite of like Phoebe Philo. Like she does not do like logos on logos. Again, this is not to say there's anything wrong with logos. It's the fact that we have crappy garments with logos on them. That's the issue. It's the fact that we're buying clothing that is not well made, that is not innovative, that is not interesting. There's no nothing innovative about a hoodie with a logo on it. And I've talked about this before, but I just hope we're seeing a shift to like higher quality clothing. I think Phoebe Philo, her coming back is gonna inspire and is gonna set the like level for what is acceptable in fashion. It's gonna like lift the bar a bit, I don't know. This is just me, but I feel like the bar has been really lowered. Anyways, we'll not talk about that anymore. This is just to talk about how Phoebe Philo could potentially have a collection this year. And we actually have something a little bit more concrete than like speculation, whispers of like, oh, what is she doing next? Where is she going next? I'd love to know your thoughts. Are you excited about her potential comeback? What do you think she's going to do? Are you just excited for any of these changes that are happening in fashion? I'm super excited. I think that we need this change. We need to lift the bar of what we think is acceptable fashion. I think we as consumers need to have higher standards. Anyways, we'd love to hear your thoughts and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.